Hello, welcome to the Daily Nature Journal. I'm back from my trip to SCOMA and today I'm going to work on translating some of these puffin sketches that I made out of the SCOMA into some journal drawings, into a journal page. So I came back and I looked at my photographs and I, g I gathered a few ideas, just pencil sketches of the puffins. So these were done quite quickly in a regular HB pencil, just from photographs. And I'm now going to translate these drawings into a journal page in my main journal. I'm going to use this spread here to create my picture today. And I'm going to use my usual method of putting in pencil lines first, then ink lines, and then finally a bit of colour. And because I really enjoyed seeing the puffins in among all of the campion, the sea campion, I'm going to use some pressed flowers in my, on this page as well, as I pressed some sea campion from along the coastal path. I like to start with just a gentle pencil outline, just to try and get an idea of where I'm going to position everything. So I want to put several puffins at different distances from the viewer and looking in different directions. So that's really the, the emphasis here, is to make sure I've got quite a few different angles on the puffins. I also want to make sure there's plenty of sea campion and to put a little bit of sea and cliff into the background. I'm using a Derwent line maker to put in the lines over the top. This is my favourite pigment liner. It's nice and soft colour. It's a really nice gentle sepia. So it's quite good to make the lines fade away once you've finished with them. Removing the pencil and ready to go in with my paint. So today I'm using mostly botanical inks. I've got some nettle, some verdigris, a few different purples, a bit of yellow and some brown willow ink too. I'm finding that mixing my nettle ink with some of this purple colour is working really well. It's making a very nice colour for the background of the cliffs. These are volcanic rocks so they've got this kind of purpley colour anyway. Also here and there I'm adding a little bit of Derwent ink tents where I want some really bright colours to really bring out some contrast into the picture. Now I think I'm happy with that as a first coat, so I'm just going to let that dry. Now I'm going over with my white fine liner. So with this I just want to go back to a white and add some highlights to the birds' faces and a little bit to the cliff background. I left this to dry overnight and now I'm just going to add a few little embellishments, a few brighter colours here and there and a little bit more contrast on, around the birds and the flowers. And then I'm just going to put my pressed sea campion around here just to finish off the picture. Right, so I think I've finished with this page now. I think it's worked out quite well. It's mostly just focusing on the puffins really and I have added this little bit of a sea campion in the bottom corner. Now looking back on it, you know sometimes when you look back and you think you might make some different decisions next time, I think I would have brought the puffins a little bit closer so that the size of the sea campion here works better against the size of the puffins. But I think actually, you know, it's a rather nice spread and I'm quite happy with it overall. 
So I hope you enjoyed watching this video today and let me know what you think of the page in the comments, particularly um, the inclusion of the pressed flowers down in this bottom corner. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.